Hi everybody, Carrie here with Igniter Digital to talk to you a little bit today about um, a dashboard that I built that was debuted in my Marketing Land column um, this morning, Friday morning, and um, I wanted to shoot some video to show you how to install it, which is just a little bit tricky. Um, what you need to do first is understand that this dashboard um, will show you all of the people in your local area that are visiting your website, all of the local eyes that visit your website. Um, a dashboard that I previously shot video about showed you all of the local websites that send you traffic. Now that traffic is not necessarily just local people, but that's local referrals, local website referrals. Um, so you could have somebody in Russia using Google Maps to search something in your location and come to you via Google Maps and they would be shown in that local search dashboard from local university. Um, this dashboard measures the local area um, search, so people in your metro geographic area that are um, entering your website. Um, first thing you have to do with this dashboard is figure out what your local area is. And the easiest way to do that is in your Google Analytics. And so you're going to log into your Google Analytics here. You're going to go to Audience, Demographics, and Location. Now what we need to do here is figure out um, what your local area is. Your local area is going to be your, your state or metro area. For example, Florida has multiple metro areas and to see those you click on the state here when you're in location, come down here to primary dimension and switch it to metro. And you see how Florida is broken up into all these different metro areas like this. So my local state is Colorado, so that's what I want to see. So I'm going to go back to the entire U.S. I'm going to click into, actually I'm still in Metro, so it looks weird. Let's go to Region again. I'm going to click into Colorado, and then I'm going to go to Metro. You can see Colorado has like two metros, Denver and Grand Junction. Um, my closest metro is actually Grand Junction Montrose. I'm kind of right in this area, I think. Um, but because we only have two, I actually probably would take both metro areas. The other thing you can do is set this up by city and go this way. So my local city is Glenwood Springs. If I had enough traffic to Ignite or Digital, that might be worth doing, but we're not necessarily a city-specific website or business. So I'm just using this as an example. You're probably going to want to choose Metro. Um, for this exercise, let's use Denver, Colorado as our Metro. So now that we know what our Metro is, just jot this down. You can have multiple Metros if you want to have more than one. Say you have quite a few in your general vicinity. Um, write them all down or keep a note of them somewhere. The next step is to, within your Google Annex, Analytics, build a custom segment um, advanced custom segment that will tell you um, where that will tell Google Analytics to look at your local area traffic. So we go to advanced segments, we go to new custom segment, and we're going to include the metro. Um, you could also do include the city city if you wanted to, if that's how you wanted to do it. You could do I think you could do region is state region is state. So we're going to do Metro, and I'm going to say Denver, and it will pre-populate for you, Denver, Colorado. I'm going to name it Denver Metro Area so I can find it, and I'm going to save it, just like that. Now you're going to go over to my Marketing Land article, um, read through it. There's a link here to the local search traffic or local referral traffic dashboard from local you that's really great to use um, scroll all the way down to the bottom and i'll kind of tell you how it gives the step by step to to do this um, in text um, so you scroll all the way down to the bottom and here's the local area website traffic and analytics dashboard with revenue or the same with no revenue um, depending upon what you do with your Google Analytics, you're going to want to choose one of these. I'm going to choose no revenue. Just clicking on that link will bring me into Google Analytics where I can choose a profile. I'm going to say all website data, local area website visitors without revenue, and create. 
Now I've installed this widget or this dashboard into my Google Analytics, but I have one more step. I need to apply my metro area advanced segment. So I go to advanced segments, I click Denver metro area, and I apply. And this shows me all of the visitors in the last 30 days that have come from this metro area, meaning the Denver metro area. Um, this is really going to be a useful dashboard for someone who has a brick and mortar or a local service area business like a plumber or a, a HVAC technician. Um, even a car lot um, could get a lot of benefit from this, um, this type of dashboard. Um, we hope you find some really valuable information here that you can make actionable decisions on. Um, if you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear them here on the Igniter blog or on any of our social media outlets or even on, our mar on my Marketing Land article. Um, thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.